Today we are talking all about dads and joining us are some parents. Rich Rice, the founder of Detroit by Design. Carrie Doman, the founder of the local family website, Little Guide Detroit. And Jason Hall with Ride Detroit. Hey guys. Hey, hey. Thanks for hanging out with us. And happy early Father's Day. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Yeah, Thank you. to those guys. All right, so we're going to talk about some double standards when it comes to being a dad. And we'll start with the idea of the stay-at-home dad. Are they looked at differently? You too. Um, no, I wouldn't look. I don't know any personally, but I wouldn't look at them differently. Would you do it? Would I, I be a stay-at-home dad? If I won the lottery, you can be damn sure I'd be a <laughs> stay-at-home dad, of course. How about you guys? What do you think of the perception of the stay-at-home dad? Is? I'm trying to live that life. I know you, you know would. what I mean. Like I'm trying to, you know. I saw that spark right? in your eyes like, as soon as I said I mean, that. You know, you know. No, I don't think it there. It's looked at. I think it's we're about to be in 2020. I know. You right? know what I mean? It's a different world than it was before, and all these gender standards I think are sort of out the window these days. So, no. If I met my homie and he was like, "I'm staying at home," I'd be like. Nice. You do you. Yeah. Because yeah. it's still working. That's the goal, baby. Yeah. Oh, you are definitely working. Uh, so I, I, I agree. And, and especially, I love that you said with gender roles right now, it, it's, it's, this is the time where women are excelling in their, their profession. And if that makes sense for them to stay working and the husband to uh, help at home, I mean, again, to your point, that's work and that's, that's a certain help. and. I mean, childcare these days mm -hmm. is so expensive. So if you have one or two, and it and it flat out economically makes more sense for someone to stay at home, I don't care who it is, and, and power to you. Power men to the to women that. working, and power to the men for, for staying at home. I agree. Rich yeah. Rice. I think there's so many different opportunities and how you can contribute to a family these days. Mm -hmm. You know, it used to be more conventional where one person kind of had this job. and. Now, if you're a stay-at-home, you can you can work remote. You can yeah. be an entrepreneur. There's all kinds of different things that you can do to help kind of support your family. Yeah, so. whatever works for you. Mm -hmm. I think we let go of all that stuff. Mm -hmm. Whatever works for you. So let's talk about changing tables. Is it a double standard oh. that dads don't have them in the men's room? I m remember I had to take Gia into the women's room, and as soon as I got her into a stall, because the men's room was destroyed, if you know mm -hmm. what I mean. So I went next door to the ladies' room. I said, "Hello, anybody in here?" Took her in there. <laughs> shut the, mm -hmm. it, no sooner had we gone in there than a woman walks in and it's like, I'm like flop sweat all right. over my face. And like, <laughs> you know, if there, was a, if there was a family restroom option or if the men's room right. had been clean, it would right. have been an issue. But yeah. I think we have some challenges. Yeah, I would, I would love to jump in here. Yes. <laughs> I would love to say, uh, again, this day and age, both men and women's rooms, because let's back up. There are a lot of places that the women's bathrooms don't even have changing tables. Mm -hmm. So my, I think if you're not a nightclub or if a uh, flat out bar, if you serve food, then you need to, to honor your, your customers and you will be rewarded for that, right? The families talk and they tell each other, this is a family friendly destination. Um, there should be changing tables in both men's and women's. Um, but again, it's not even standard that the women's always have it. But mm -hmm. my husband takes the kids, and uh, I would love for him to, to have the opportunity to change on a changing table. Yes. No changing table. I'm changing my baby on the table. Ooh. <laughs> no, I'm not Lies. that bad. But no, but, <laughs> no, but I was really running through my mind, actually, like, Really, it seems like I remember a lot of changing tables kind of being pop, like starting to pop up these mm -hmm. days. So it is sort of that thing. They're just going to have to get over the hump of the reality of what the world is now. That's that right. dad's going to have the baby sometimes. Yep. Yeah. I think there's two different sides of this. You have the actual the building codes, right? So you're looking at do municipalities kind of regulate this. But I really like when companies get in front of it, kind of like mm -hmm. a lot of companies mm -hmm. with like uh, health care for gay spouses. You know, they mm -hmm. kind of got in front of the legislation and decided that they were going to do that on their own. So I, I prefer to be patrons of companies that are more responsible with these sorts of things. So when they bring a, a changing table in and they're, and they're providing these sorts of amenities, I'm more likely to go there and spend my dollars there. I guarantee you I could walk right to the family uh, restroom at Comerica Park as if it were yesterday. I haven't had to change Gia in, in years mm -hmm. upon years, but I could walk right to that family restroom you because I had to is. know where it was. Right, yeah. yeah, stays and with you. It's not even standard. We were on a, a car trip, a road trip, and we stopped at a McDonald's and they didn't have a changing table in the women's room. Wow. I mean, so uh, yes, it's an investment for these small businesses, but for, for some of these chains, that, that should just be part of your 
guidelines. Yeah. Fail. Yeah. <laughs> when a family has a Ouch. new baby, women get paid maternity leave, and rightfully so, but in many cases, men have to take vacation days to be the dad at home with mm. the newborn. Should men get paid paternity leave like the ladies do? Absolutely. Absolutely. I thought it was really cool a couple of years ago when Richard Branson really did announce that he was doing that, that he was not only paying for mom and dad to have an entire year off to raise their child. I think that's mandatory if we're trying to raise good families and you have parents at home, they need to connect. I think it's important. The other thing, I had two C-sections. I mean, there's, there's recovery for the woman as well, it, no matter what kind of birth you have. But uh, there's, there's that recovery, picking up the child. I mean, the, the moms need just as much help. And so the dads need to be able to safely take that time mm -hmm. and and you know be rewarded for it or or compensated for it i should yeah. say just understand families are the backbone of our country you can't you know act like this does not exist a friend of mine just had a baby and she used her maternity leave and then it was like she went back to work and then her husband started his mm -hmm. paternity leave yeah. he's just really lucky enough to work for a really good company so they're yeah. good with the baby for almost nine months of not having to bring anyone else in from the outside and not only that but it's proven that the birth rate is shrinking dramatically mm -hmm. fewer people are having fewer kids so on the part of the companies it would be like oh the expense the expense mm -hmm. well actually no because it's all going to balance out <laughs> exactly. people aren't having three kids yeah. anymore right we're about to not have a workforce so uh, let's yeah. bring in michelle oliver she's here with a look at how people are responding to this question online. We posted it and got a pretty big response. Yeah, we had over 100 comments on this. So you guys had a lot to say and most of you actually were like our panel in complete agreement and wanting full paternity leave for for both for dads. Men, yeah. men and women. Bianca says absolutely the initial bonding time is so important. I'm so happy that my husband gets to be home after our son is born. Mm. So good for good for yeah, that company, whoever he works family, for. Yeah. Um, Maria, on the other hand, had kind of the opposite uh, side of this. Only if they're actually going to help with the new baby. <laughs> <laughs> Not if they're just looking for some time off. Mom doesn't have time to take care of him, too. Ooh. That sounds personal. Okay. That does sound personal. <laughs> Bianca. <a> you know, <laughs> so, she's talking about someone. Something yeah. happened in Bianca's right, house. Right. But no, I get it. Uh, Teresa says, I think they should, but maybe just not as long. A few weeks for sure, though. So do you think there should be a difference in length? men versus women? No. no. No, we're talking equality, right? Yeah. Where everybody, oh, get, you know, why do we get set these standards? No, yeah. well, I'm dad, yeah. same. same. Tell us about your event coming. Ah, yes, something for dad this weekend. So we planned a scavenger hunt on e-bikes for everybody. We're going to start out at the Foundation Hotel at 10 a.m. on Saturday, and we're going to see the city unlike any other way. The best way to see it is on an e-bike. So come on out, ride bucks, bikes with us this Saturday for the Father's Day scavenger hunt at uh, Foundation Hotel. This is cool. Can the whole family come? Absolutely. Yeah. Can you have a cool. Absolutely. Can Tickets have a available at uh, www.ridedetroit.com. E-bikes right, are fun. You. They make you feel really powerful. Oh, yes. yeah. We'll talk e-bikes. We'll talk e-bikes. <laughs> right. e well, guys, thanks so much for hanging out with us for What's the Buzz. This is well, so thank fun. you.